Jelly Bean Story Page, Johnny, June, and the Spooky House Adventure Johnny, June, and the Spooky House Adventure It was a crisp fall evening in October, and the air was filled with the smell of leaves and pumpkin spice. The kids in the neighborhood were buzzing about the town's spookiest house, the old, crumbling mansion at the end of Chestnut Street. Nobody ever dared to go near it. Legend said it was haunted by an ancient ghost named Old Mr. Grimsby. Johnny and June, brother and sister, had heard all the stories. Their parents always told them to stay far away from the house, but tonight was different. Their friends, the crew, Sam, Lily, and Max, were on a mission. Come on, Johnny. I dare you and June to go inside the haunted house, Sam said, grinning mischievously. June gulped and shook her head. No way. We'll get in trouble. But Max, the bravest of them all, stepped up. We'll come with you. We can stick together. It'll be fun, and imagine the stories we could tell at school. Lily, always the voice of reason, added, plus, we'll only go inside for a few minutes. We can say we did it and leave. Johnny looked at June. June looked at Johnny. Their friends were counting on them, and the idea of being the talk of the school was just too tempting. Okay, Johnny said hesitantly, but we're sticking together. No splitting up. With nervous excitement, the crew made their way to the old mansion, its windows shattered, ivy creeping up the sides like spooky vines. The front door creaked as they pushed it open, the sound echoing through the empty halls. Dust filled the air, and the kids' footsteps echoed on the wooden floor. The inside was even spookier than they imagined. Cobwebs hung from the ceiling, and strange shadows danced in the dim light. Let's check out the living room, Max whispered. They cautiously tiptoed down the hall and entered a grand room with high ceilings and an old fireplace. Suddenly, a loud thump came from above, and the kids froze. What was that? June asked, her eyes wide. Probably just the wind, Sam said, though he didn't sound so sure. But then, something caught Johnny's eye. Look! Over there by the fireplace. Everyone turned to where Johnny was pointing. There, hidden behind some old books on the mantel, was a strange, glowing key. The kids stared at it in awe. That's, cool, Lily said, reaching for it. But what does it open? Max, ever the explorer, said, only one way to find out. The kids huddled together, key in hand, and ventured deeper into the house. Down a dark hallway, they spotted a locked door that they hadn't noticed before. It had strange carvings of stars and moons on it, like something out of a treasure map. Try the key, Johnny suggested. With trembling hands, June slid the glowing key into the lock. To their surprise, it clicked open, revealing a hidden staircase leading down into the basement. Should we go down? June asked, her voice shaking. We've come this far, Max said, leading the way. The staircase creaked under their feet as they descended into the basement. At the bottom, they found something they never expected, an old, dusty treasure chest. No way! Sam exclaimed, rushing over to the chest. Together, the crew lifted the heavy lid, revealing piles of ancient coins, glittering jewels, and a mysterious old journal. The kids' eyes lit up. We've discovered treasure. Johnny said, grinning from ear to ear. June opened the journal, flipping through the pages filled with stories of Mr. Grimsby's life, how he had been a kind man who loved to explore the world and collect rare artifacts. He had hidden the treasure away for someone brave enough to find it, and that someone was, them. The kids couldn't believe their luck. They had stumbled upon a secret that no one had known for years. I guess the old house wasn't so scary after all, June said, smiling. But just then, they heard a soft, friendly chuckle. The kids looked around, but no one was there. A gust of wind blew through the basement, and they swore they saw a shadowy figure nodding in approval before fading away. I think Mr. Grimsby is happy we found his treasure, Lily whispered. 
the crew quickly filled their backpacks with some coins and jewels and decided it was time to leave. As they made their way back to the front door, they felt a sense of excitement, knowing they had done something amazing, something no one else had ever dared to do. When they got back home, Johnny and June agreed not to tell their parents, yet. But they couldn't wait to share the adventure with their friends at school. As for the mansion at the end of Chestnut Street, it wasn't so scary anymore. To the kids, it would always be the place where they discovered a forgotten treasure, solved a mystery, and made memories that would last a lifetime. And maybe, just maybe, they had earned the approval of old Mr. Grimsby himself. The End <laughs>